All right, frankly, I felt this was a little cheesy at first, but we stuck with it and, well, you'll see. All right, so we got another one of these videos. Who the freak is uh, Peter Gabriel? Peter Gabriel. The video is sponsored by Brian. In your eyes from Secret World Live. The video was uploaded on YouTube eight years ago, has 32 million views. So this is like big time, and this is always fascinating when there's just someone who was big and you never heard of him. Going to home through Homeboy's Wikipedia page, it looks like the dude on Breaking Bad. He was the original lead singer for Genesis. Had a hit, had a, his first hit single was Salisbury Hill. He has won three Brit Awards, six Grammy Awards, 13 MTV Video Music Awards. Again, this guy is like big time. What, what am I possibly gonna recognize him from? He's a very political musician, which I don't like, frankly, getting into, but that's cool, I guess. But at the same time, you know, a lot of, a lot of musicians, uh, athletes have uh, have done great things in history with a humanitarian effort. So, and I feel like the old school humanitarians were a little bit less uh, pandering than today, you know? He was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a member of Genesis in 2010 and also as a solo artist in 2014. Let's just get to know the guy through the music, yeah? Thank you guys for clicking on this video. Let's see who this dude is. Peter Gabriel. This is a 10 minute performance, by the way. Like, look at the crowd, bro. You got. It. That's cool. That's cool. Back when it was lighters and not the phone flashlight. Beautiful. Touch this tender wall to land no one home again. Nice, jeez. That sounds cool, bro. With that reverb and everything and the control. That was that sounded great. Okay, wait. I'm already pausing. If you're new to these sorts of videos, I'm supposed to be interrupting and pausing. I'm getting like, you know, the Phil Collins type vibe, you know what I'm saying? But beautiful, beautiful words. You know, we all get afraid, we wanna run away, but then I come back to the place you are, that person that you love that keeps you grounded in life. Whoa. Choreography is pretty impressive, dude.
I, I can't tell if he's actually singing or not because it sounds just perfect. Regardless if he's singing live in this concert or not, his voice is really pleasant sounding. Dude, this is cool. One of the comments on here was a guy who said, um, had the opportunity to work on this tour with Peter Gabriel as a sound engineer. What an experience. You know, you don't come out and say that unless the guy who was kind of directing and putting together the thing was sort of genius-like. I don't know about y'all. Did you watch that documentary for uh, Michael Jackson's, like that last concert? Where you just seeing the, the preparation and everything that was going in and you realize just how uh genius michael jackson was it seems like we're having we have a similar sort of guy like this which again is unbelievable that we've checked out a lot of people on this channel that like of course i've heard of like i i know like i've heard of i knew that who phil collins was right tarzan right or uh, mike tyson listening to him but then we watch the performance and you don't realize the beat drop is until like way later in the song and you realize dude that is a dope song like i knew about it i have never even remotely heard about this guy and like and i'm a millennial like but one thing i'll say from when this is made um i have a big feeling a lot of this is actually how good this band and group was and it just takes you back to how you know masterful more like masterful musicians uh what, what it was like uh, to be there and watching them this live show is from 1993 by the way which i was gonna say it looks like it is That's so dope. Here's the thing. Any of you, I mean, how can anyone, how can any of us watch this and not like be smiling though, right? Mm. That's how great this is. Again, I know the pauses are getting annoying, so I'm gonna do this one fast. The bass line, dope as all freaking get out. But how can you not think about that loved one, right? I'm thinking about so much about my wife and the things. I've needed to rely on the way she sees me so much in my life. And it's the best thing. Like, it's the best. When you can't see your potential, if you're any good, but you can hold on to the way that person looks at you. So what a beautiful way to describe this. Like what a celebration of having that. So the question here for you, right? right who, who's, who's this for you? For me, of course, it's my wife, Allie. All right, required a copyright break uh, done here. I'm having a lot of fun here. That's the thing. Just positivity. Yeah, that bass player is freaking crushing it. Here we go. What are they saying? 
He's unbelievable, bro. I'm going to tell you what song this it reminds me of a lot, and I just found the inspiration for this song I'm thinking of here. This is cool, bro. That was cool, bro. The way he lets other people that shine, he like, Jean-Claude. see what I mean? He's like, he is pumped to keep sharing the spotlight here. This is cool. Incredibly weird outfit, but all good. What are we, what are we looking at here? Spandex and a, yeah, okay. Snap out of it, Sebastian. Look how he's just celebrating his band and everything, bro. That's when, like, the front man is also, like, the director, the quarterback. And, and like, that was awesome. Dude, what a journey. That's the best way I can describe what, what this just was. Because, frankly, as, as it started, I was like, all right, dude, this is pretty cheesy, man. But then you just keep watching it, and you kind of get hypnotized into the what they're doing here, and... The soothing nature of it, but then also the mixing of so many different types of, you know, culturally different sounds and music. And it just sounds dope and the beat and the, yeah, honestly, the audio quality and the, and how, just again, how he involved he is with everybody. It's never everyone supporting him. It's like, I don't know. It, it was just cool to see. Like, what an interesting way of being the front man here. Um, I really like that. One of my favorite songs of all time is There Will Be Time by Mumford & Sons. I never really listened to Mumford & Sons at all until my wife showed me them. But there's a lot of that, you know, African influence in that song. And there's and the same thing of someone from that area singing the way, right, in that African style. And it's beautiful. I can see how this inspired that song. Like, it's clear. Yeah. Like, in all honesty, bro, I was like, okay, I'll be nice with my thoughts on this. Because, I, I, again, I felt it was cheesy at first. You know, early 90s, you know what I'm saying? No, dude. Phenomenal. If anything, it just makes me jealous. Like, we don't, I don't know. The thought and care put into this. There are some people, you know, nowadays who, who are trying to, to do this sort of thing. But, again, you can see how, how much inspiration was probably drawn from this guy. Again, this is 1993. 
No, my instincts, they return, and the grand facade so soon will burn. Without a noise, without my pride, I reach out from the inside in your eyes. Right, again, I feel like it's a song for that person. But then the way he made it in your eyes for everyone else, recognizing the humanity and good in everyone and everyone else and how that makes you want to bring out the best from you, making it a song about that, that was that was cool. Uh, you know, a song about unity, unity, ce celebrating everyone else, which is what he did in the performance. All right, so the the part this part right here it's saying the same thing it's a wolof language phrase sung by so adore sorry butchering the name and the song in your eyes by peter gabriel in your eyes the heat i am complete wow or your heat uh, your eye the heat the light i am inside your eyes and lamp and heat your your eyes inside a sense of being complete or fulfilled when gazing into someone's eyes with the associations of light heat and inner connection i don't know dude the other the other Thing that this makes me think about it, it's uh, a lot of us maybe and maybe not you right but a lot of us have gotten the bad habit of this thing being around us too much and even when it's around or we, we may be talking right even uh, simon sinek uh, discloses this and talks about this right but when this when this thing's around even right now you talking to me like me talking to you here virtually you think i'm gonna i'm just distracted i'm not fully here and sometimes I, we are not fully distracted how many conversations how many dinner tables have so much of this going on that eventually there's not even the conversation at the dinner table. Put the thing away and let's just be fully present with each other. That's the other light, the other thought that comes with me. When we are fully paying attention, right? Eyes being a symbol of paying attention. When we're all giving each other full attention, we're complete. And the things are our own self-limiting beliefs, uh, energy, life, it comes out. All right. Again, this is how you know it's a good song and a powerful. Like now, I'm now your brain just starts moving and thinking. It isn't just like, oh, that was nice. Oh, it's freaking fantastic. Written by Peter Gabriel, just fully Peter Gabriel. This guy seems to be kind of a dope genius, and I never heard of him. This is really cool. I really, really enjoy that. And again, if you can get an insight from spending this much time listening to and watching a a, a video like that, and and you get an insight of how to improve your life, which is again like. Just put this thing away, man. That's what it was for me. Music's a beautiful thing. It tells us what we need in that moment. What is it for you? I'm anxious to hear from you guys. Comment down below. Let me know. But wow. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Brian, again, for supporting uh, the channel and recommending that to us. If you clicked on this video and hung out, thank you. Check out the description down below to find other ways to support and bring things uh, bring things up. A lot of you are, are helping keep things alive uh, through things like this and just appreciate you all. Grateful for YouTube. With all the talk about the young generation right now, um, I just hope to not do them the the service of just discounting them. Maybe I just need to be paying attention more to them and really watching them so that they can feel that warmth from just being paid attention to. I don't know. All right, y'all. Much love. Uh, done pretending like I'm I'm wise. Just I had a good time and I hope you did too. Hope you hang out again. Come to the next one. Check out the description down below for other ways to support the channel and other videos to watch. Bye everyone.